When you think of Xinjiang or Google it, you might got news like this. It is safe to travel there? How tight the security is? And what is there to explore? With that curiosity, let's go Xinjiang and explore it together. As you might know, Xinjiang is huge, which have one sixth of the size of China, almost equal to 1,500 Hong Kong, neighboring with eight countries, including Russia and Mongolia. And one day we accidentally crossed the border. Usually for travel, people will divide Xinjiang into two parts, Northern and Southern Xinjiang. Our plan this time is to visit the northern part of our 10 days trip, where we end up experienced Walking into fairy tale, driving in no man's land, being around with lots and lots of animals. Look at this baby horse, it's my favorite. This time we are flying from Sunjun Airport to Urumqi. For this 5 hour flight, the round trip ticket is around 2500 RMB. First time being in the border at 12 am. We also record the 6 a.m. plane, so we decided to live in a hotel nearby uh, the Sunjin Airport. Can't believe there is such a cloud in the border at 12 a.m. Crazy. This structure is everywhere in the airport. I wonder what is it. Impressed by the Burger King there. They have the crispy milk bar that I have been founding in Hong Kong for a super long time. And the green mini toy car is just too cute. We are taking this Boeing 737 from Urumqi Air and the food was... Uh, just don't talk about the food. <laughs> we couldn't help but wonder what Urumqi in Xinjiang was like. So we took a peek out the window. The first thing I noticed was how neat and organized the roads are on the outskirts of the city. But what really caught my eyes was the fact that all the skyscrapers in Urumqi had this unique earthly yellow exterior that blended in seamlessly with the natural surrounding. It's not like other city, where you see a bunch of buildings with glass exteriors. Milk is famous here. How can we not oh, try it? Oh shit. Uh, but this packaging is just too difficult to, to open. We rented a car called Tank 300. Isn't it so cool? Can't wait to have it. Just like Nimbus 2000 from Harry Potter. And this handsome boy from the car company even help us carry the luggage. Why we decided to rent a tank instead of a normal car of our road trip in Xinjiang? As much as we love electric cars, they are just not practical for a place like Xinjiang. It's a huge region, and finding a charging spot in the middle of nowhere can be a real challenge. So we needed something that could go the distance without needing a recharge. But most importantly, it's perfect for driving in areas with difficult terrain. We're talking about areas with rock, sand, and all kind of crazy land situations. So if you're planning a road trip in Xinjiang, you want to make sure that you've got a ride that can handle everything. Highly recommend renting a tank, and it looks so cool too. We are now driving through the city and I want to give you a quick update on the security situation here. As you can see, there are police cars patrolling on the street and there are security checks at some of the shopping mall entrance. However, we just came from the car park so no one checked us. So it seems like the security measures here are pretty tight, but not too intrusive. Yes, you're right. Shopping more art exits here, and it's pretty big. We totally want to ride on this train and car and the mall. Speaking of car park, I was totally surprised by two things. The first thing is, as you can see from here, many of the people is not following the car park mark. I was like, how is this possible? 
They just park on any space on the way and sometimes even park in the important cross. It just takes us a lot of time to... The second thing is the price. Next to a shopping mall like this, just costs 1,800 RMB for a year. You're right, a whole year. If you compare this in Hong Kong, maybe you can just only rent for less than a few days, I guess. Alright, so let's get into the fun stuff. Taking taxi to visit a must-see attraction in the city, Grand Bazaar. As you can see from here, the taxi here in Umumchi have a big cage to protect the driver. Now you might be wondering why there is a need for security check in this bazaar especially. Well, in 2009, there was a violent riot nearby that caused the hundreds of deaths and injuries. But don't worry, the security check is quick and painless. But I'm getting pretty hungry, I mean, we haven't eaten since the meal on a flight. Opposite to the Grand Bazaar, there is a food bazaar. Happen to stumble upon a BBQ festival. It's time to try some delicious BBQ. I grabbed a lamb kebab. <laughs> and it tastes amazing. <laughs> Can you guess what animals it is? Think you are right. It's a camel. I never saw a camel like this. Oh. Oh. sincerity. We decided to. A few moments later. <笑>我記得了 好像是一樣的價格<笑> 欸,這是桂圓紅酒茶。I tried the dishes called lamb soup with naan. So how is that? Let me describe the ingredient first. So the soup is made with tender chunks of lamb and onions. And it is served up with a piece of naan bread at the bottom of the bowl. So naan bread is definitely very important in this culture of the people here, and they even have a museum for it. So when you take a bite of the lamb chop with naan, it's like a flavor explosion in your mouth, and it's just like a sponge that sucks up a lot of a lot of soup in there. And the soup was just super tasty. It just makes the naan feel like eating another texture of a lamb. Another thing we try here is a lamb soup because the weather is a little bit cold and we want to warm ourselves up. The soup was nice but I totally think that the magnitude we designed, the handle is not hot resistant at all. It's just a bit hard to carry it around. After indulging in so many delicious things,
，明白明白。好的，好的意思。